What's up guys, FTW here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a, a tutorial on how to make Minecraft materials in Cinema 4D. Uh, programs I'm going to be using are Cinema 4D R14 and Photoshop CS 5.5. I'm sure you can use any version of the two programs, but those are the ones I'm going to be using. Um, first thing you want to do is go get your uh, Minecraft Terrain PNG file which I just used Google Images and found the default Minecraft terrain PNG file. And basically you want to open up Photoshop, click File, Open, find your uh, your image. Mine's at my desktop, so I will open that up. And then I want to grab my zoom tool and zoom all the way in on this. And I'll just find uh, one of the images that I want to use. Let's go scroll up and uh, say if I want to use, let's say, TNT, since it's right here, I get it in the center. Then you want to go up to the top and grab your rectangular marquee tool. And then you would just want to go to one the top edge corner and drag down, click and hold and drag to the other edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that will uh, select your TNT. Now you want to hit Control C or you can go to Edit copy whichever way you want to do and once you have that you want to get a file new and it should be 16 by 16 which is uh, the size of this image and click OK and it comes up with this little box you want to hit control V or again you can go to edit and paste whichever works best for you once you have that in there you want to go to image image size and then you want to change the width and height to 128 pixels. Once you have that 128 pixels on both width and height, you want to go down here to this drop down tab and change to nearest neighbor preserve hard edges. Then select OK. Once you have that done, you want to go to File, Save As. We want to save as a PNG. I'm going to save it to my desktop. You can name this whatever you want. And click Save. And then select OK on the interlace none. Then we'll minimize out of this, and our image is right here. All right. Now we want to basically open up Cinema 4D. We want to create a new material by double clicking in the Material tab. Double click on the material. Turn off Specular. Make sure Color is selected, and go to Texture, Load Image. And here's our little image we made. Let's select that and click open. This little box pop up, just click yes or no, it doesn't matter. And close this out, and there we have our material made. Now this works, uh, let's grab us a, a cube, and I'm going to change the X and the Y and the Z all to 50. So let's click 50, tab, 50, tab, 50. And then we can zoom in on our cube here. And then we can select our TNT material and add it on to the top, top of that. Now, if you notice, the top is not the right. It's still, I mean, it's it's got the sides. The top is different on the TNT. So if we go back to our Photoshop, select on our first terrain layer, select our layer, there we go. We have the TNT top and the bottom. I'm just going to do the top and from this point we'll drag and copy this one we'll do the same thing control C file new select OK control V image image size 128 pixels on both again drop down tab nearest neighbor preserve hard edges select OK and we'll save get a file save as PNG once again I'm gonna save it to my desktop name it whatever click save none on interlace minimize Photoshop and here is our top image right there go back into cinema 4d and we'll select uh, we'll double click the material make sure specular is unchecked again texture load image and find our image for the top there we go select open 
and there we have that now to add this on here if you went and tried to drag this on here right now it'll just change the whole block to that image now what we need to do is make sure our cube is selected go over to our make editable tab then we'll go down to our polygon selection and we'll select the top now the top is highlighted in yellow we'll just drag our top material onto that and as you can see it created our material and you can do the same thing with the bottom layer and works just as well let's grab us a light here so we can see this when I preview render it and put it in place and preview render it out and there you go that's a pretty basic tutorial I mean it's pretty easy to do but for those that didn't know how I hope it's, this tutorial helped you out and uh, please give a like if it did um, yeah you guys subscribe for, for some more tutorials and uh, if you have any suggestions for tutorials just let me know and uh, post it in the comment section anyways thanks for watching guys peace